Hello everyone, I'm Overhaul and today I'll be reviewing My Hero Academia chapter 253 and well if this was unexpected or oh, really did anyone actually thought this was a possibility? I'll get into it later, let's just get through the filler scenes or something or whatever or oh, I don't know exactly would it be considered filler if it's literally except something we already kind of knew or something I don't know, guess so yeah we start this chapter off with the deep, with Izuku narrating about the whole winter break and how that kind of went fast which kind of makes people that want to see class 1A sh shine a bit unhappy, myself included, of course. Maybe then we'll get filler, but it's most likely just going to get a filler episode with Suyu and you will rock everything because it seems like every filler episode is going to have Suyu in. <sighs> you would think they would use this filler episodes to get more characters on the other stones, but I guess not. So, yeah, anyways, after that narration, we get to see a little how characters are acting after. He is a bit more fired up and more happy and more ready and more experienced apparently because he says that he went back to the hero agency which he worked during the stand arc and they he learned a lot and basically a lot of g good things happened. It turns out that well nothing weird out of the ordinary happened for them. So yeah, after th that, they also explained that the students will have to give their presentation to what they were doing. That kind of leads the door open for us to find out what the other students were doing. I mean, we already are aware of what uh, Bakugo, Shoto, and Izuku are doing. But now it's time for that we find out what the other ones were doing. How? If you want a worry about length, you can simply just put the students together. Like you have Awaka and Asu doing the same thing. You have so Soji and Izu, I believe. Well, Jiro, Jiro and So Mes Soji, I believe, was the guy with multiple arms name together. Bakugo, well, not Bakugo, and Kaminari, Sao, Minata, I believe, were together. Stuff like that. So yeah. After the explanation to what they are going to be doing by Ida, Azawa says, Oh, I have time to go to the training facilities. And it's all class 6 style. They all say, Happy New Year, and all be happy. There we get into the locker scene with the girls. It's not as fat service as Black Lovers this year, this week, because, you know, Black Love literally had the women... <coughs> We all know what the women were like. Well, this one we just see Oraka in her new costume, and I guess a little small scenes with Mina, and tiny scenes with Asui and Momo and Joe switching out their hair outfits. So yeah, this is the first time we get confirmation that Ocho gets a new costume upgrade, which I believe is kind of unnecessary of all the characters, but. There she is, and we find out that those gauntlets, the new ones that she has, are extremely heavy. Granted, I was said by Jiro, a girl that I would say is one of the, on the weaker side when it comes to physical upper body strength, but still, I would assume that it is pretty heavy compared to the last ones. So yeah, Rock is a bit embarrassed of the new costume, which makes me wonder how would Jiro react when she gets a, when she should get a new costume soon because let's be honest with Joe really does need to have a like I'm talking Izuku first costume to his current costume upgrade level. Seriously, why does no one bring that up? Like are you serious telling me no teacher is like, hey Joe, maybe you should improve it. Um, anyways, I'm gonna get sidetracked. Back to the main thing. So yeah, when uh, Mina is picking up another one for Godlands, uh all my figurine falls out and Mina's like, oh, Ochako, is that? And Ochako's kind of bad, it's like, it's nothing, it's just, it's just something I have in, nothing. You know, the whole generic girl type of thing. So yeah. Then later we get to see the boys. 
and we get uh, Kirishima and Tokuyami's reaction to Izuku learning Black Whip. Well, Izuku explained that this way. Apparently, he can't do Black Whip, it's just he cannot do it for a long time. For example, that moment during the last two chapters, I believe, or the last chapter, I don't even remember, it, when he did it, it was like, that was literally the perfect timing. He didn't need to use it again, and it was the most convenient. So yeah, we don't exactly know how long it's going to take him to get uh, the disability completely down, because Kishima had said, well, that was fast. Kinda does limit the thing about Izuku learning the other five quirks, or whatever, or four, whatever. But, considering the fact Black Wing production to be one of the most simpler ones, I mean, really, the whole just swing, 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 whip around is, seems like a simpler one. So, it's possible that's why he can just learn it faster. So yeah, now doing Izuku's kind of being part of it, Black Wing's force is weird, I don't know what they're called, those things that he has between his ears. Oh, I was like, gonna throws at Izuku and he actually starts bleeding, so those things are spiky as all hell. And you know how a fight thing is? Not the fact that the captain's actually acknowledging that his brain's blood is coming out. Actually, afterwards, Izuku still has it in and he actually starts, I'm a little bit slow type thinking now, but I, and I'm a bit slow, but I can still do it. <laughs> Which is hilarious. Oh, it's a good comedy. Considering how dark the last couple of, or the last two arcs, is this, yeah, I believe two arcs, war and how dark it could possibly get. Now, we get a, now we get a scene with All Might saying, I am making cotton candy. So that's going to make a different variance on the I'm here catchphrase. Which is turns out, more focused on where's Aizawa. And All Might explained that there was something that was brought up. Because before the when students went there to the changing rooms, I saw it was called in to the to to a meeting. Now, another thing I would like to mention is still in this chapter that I believe there are only three months until the end of the first year. So here is the thing I'm wondering. Would it be possible that my academia is going to have a is going to have a time skip between between um when they after they become second years? I'm bringing this up to you now because the way I see it, it the only indication that I believe we ever got for the story to end this year or something was with two more with with those with the movies saying that the movie that's I believe coming out next week is going to be apparently the final movie of my academia. Which take that what you is worth. I mean our movies like there are plenty of times where movies get sequels even if they don't need to. Maybe it's more permanent in America, but it's very possible in Japan as well. Or maybe that was like the final movie of this era or something. So yeah, I am wondering if there's going to be a po time skip. Like maybe we're not going to get, because I think I've been early to end it as well, with ending it as soon as after the first year. So is it going to be something like, all right, it ends the first year with the villains rising or something. I mean, I don't believe we left the whole rising of the villain saga right now. Villains rising. Then we have a time skip until they start their third year in some other school, like it's possible they just transfer or something. And then they are more proactive, like more like me and Tamaki and those type of things. I'm bringing this up to you because well it, no one ever says that they need to the story needs to end with as this year, based to them basically. Like no one says it needs to go end as soon as the whole big fight between the liberation, Paranormal Liberation Front and the Heroes happens. Like, it could just end, happen something similar to how it happened in Ruby. The other semester, well, in a big time in the semester, the villains attacked. The battlefield was kind of evenly destroyed, more on the villain side than the hero side, but pretty much no one was like a clear cut victory. 
it was like a domination. And then there was the time skip, and then the students leave or something or go to a different school, to Malcolm most likely. And they train their second year there, and then they come back to have the legal villains. How? I could imagine there being a little arc with the students in second year in America, and then they, in the third year, they come back and start sit there or something. I don't know. People seem to be thinking that it's going to end, but I feel like that would. But I don't believe there was any news about an ending outside the movies. So yeah. Now after this whole thing, we see to Azawa and present my driving to the prison Tartarus. And both present Mike and Aizawa are very negative and not in the traditional way that they that Aizawa is and present Mike isn't. I mean, like the two are very like kinda upset and I can't really tell the emotion, but they're not they're not how they usually are. And present Mike is like that thing we find in USJ, referring to Krogeri, that thing that wasn't right, that didn't fit. And I watched yesterday I watched the scenes with Kurogiri during the USJ attack and really nothing about it really hinted at there being anything major which considering the end of the chapter there might be. So yeah. But that Mike that tries to keep things um the best case scenario and basically thinks oh it's just coincidental the quirk thing. Or is that or is that your taste is horrible? So yeah, they are in Tartarus and they meet Gran Torino and Omar's detective friend. Now they they give us a little bit of a recap on what Neminomus are, they are humans whose Vice could mix well with normal with our quirks and they become normals, they're basically puppets. And Aizawa and Present Mike are very yeah, we can't really know that. And they're like, oh no, to Kurogiri. We've tried to get information out of them. In terms of information, yeah, we got a lot of pointless information. But when it comes to the League of Villains, he goes silent. He goes like his power is cut. Off, I believe was given as an example like you you know when you uh, unplug a machine that needs to be plugged into work so yeah now the reason why they haven't called in is because when they did some research or some investigation on Kurogiri they found out that Kurogiri's quirk his base quirk base meaning that his first quirk because apparently Kurogiri is and not one of these people whose quirk was originally one thing, but then it just got stronger by boosting it by other quirks like Izuko, Giganto Machia, All for One, and currently Nines from the movie. Ah. I'm wondering if this was supposed to orig this was planned from the beginning, or if this was an added thing, because there has been no hints to it. Or maybe it's just it's not like there's like a thousand of them. Maybe it's just like the that quirk from Shirakumu, with spoilers apparently Shirakumu's quirk is the base one, Loud Cloud. A little recap on Shirakumu. Shirakumu was Aizawa's and present my expand. Think of them as the big three of class one, well class 2B, A. When they were in students years, during the, the fight, during the fight in one of the internships, he tragically passed away, passed away, with the last thing of us knowing is that he died. Died. This is all done in My Academia Vigilantes, which might be coming to an end pretty soon, considering the end of the last chapter, but let's not focus on that. So yeah, yeah, Shokumo. Now, I also went back to see if we see Shokumo's body. But the only things we see after his hat is being hit by a giant rock. Rock, you know, that I'm talking about here that would definitely kill a person if it was hit. And I've noticed that we don't see any hints to him, his body being found. We only see that stone that hit him being no bloody. So we don't exactly know where the body is. The only thing we know is that apparently Kurogiri's third quirk, the one that he's had from birth, is the same quirk or at least similar to Loud Cloud's quirk. 
which is Chocumus. Now, this raises up some theories. Now, is Kuro... Now, there's some theories in the fandom already that Kuro was a normal because he does look kind of similar to it with those eyes and that, you know, kind of the sh fate shape. Ship with him, the only thing that was really debunking that was his, you know, knowledge, and even after the high ends were introduced, they were still a dominant of Kuroguri. So, that was, so this is going to be confirmed now, but we don't exactly know. Another thing we know is that Kuroguri's body, the black mist, is not his real form. Now, I originally thought that the chapter confirmed this Shokumu was actually Kurogiri with this scene with a kind of upset looking eye and kind of very vague. But they know that was Aizawa just holding his face because we see him earlier holding it. So that's not the case. Now is Shokumu Kurogiri? Now I don't kind of feel like the characters are similar. Although I do have to agree, it's possible that they are the same person. I mean, uh, all for one and Doma Ujiku are definitely too sick people enough to do to change someone like Shokumo into someone like Kurogiri. Now, even if you want to say that it doesn't make sense because now he died because of that, well. You know, there are characters in my academia world that can bring back the dad, like Overhaul can technically raise the dad, Eri could technically raise the dad, and now even I'm throwing out the idea that there's a character that Dobby knows who can bring back the dad. I mean, so it's not unlikely to assume that there is some person out there in the world who can bring back the dad. Now, we don't even know what Dharma's Ujigo's quirk is, so if he can bring back the dad, he could. Or if there's a normal, like it doesn't need to be I mean how? We don't know John Chen's quirks, so we don't know if he can walk once. And we have no idea if there's any other normals like John Chan around, so yeah, bring back that does seem possible. Plus it really plus the only thing that we know of is that Kogi's base quirk is similar enough to Shurakumo's. Which could literally mean that maybe his fa he Shokuma had a family, which I don't believe was mentioned or anything. I don't believe there's a comment about Shokuma saying, Oh, my little brother, my big brother is against these ideas. Like, I don't believe there's anything like that. But yeah, there is a connection between Kurigiri and Shokumo. If that connection is Shokumo's quirk, it was the first one given to him, or if... Shokumo was turned to Kogiri, or if there, like, we don't exactly know, or if Shokumo's body was just used as the basis. I mean, to be fair, Ofo and Omojiko are the two characters who I would say could get their bod hands on their bodies of some of these people. Hell, because the fact we know Dom Ujiko has at least some connection to the prison Tartarus, and who knows how many other the hospitals he has, I would not say it's unbelievable that he could get the body the somewhere the so yeah right now I think the best case scenario that the, or the case is that I think is the most likely Shakuma was brought back by someone in that works for the legal villa or for, works for all for one either by his one of one's quirks, Dharma's quirk or Nomus or whatever but back to life, then who knows what kind of messed up experiment would has been done done to him and then and now he's Kurgiri. So yeah, it seems that uh, Zara and Kurgiri are gonna be having this rivalry very you know considering that whole thing. We still don't know exactly, in fact we don't even know if there is going to be a prison pick up, which I hope there is going to be. However, I would say that if you want, if ever I think, if of course she wants to introduce some of those villains that his actors made, it'd be a perfect time to do it in the prison breakup, but who knows really. So yeah, this chapter is definitely into more of a mysterious thing, what could happen, what is the future and um, build up. So, I am interested to find out, like, 
Are we going to get like um, some more information about it in the next chapter? Are we going to get um, the League of Villains like catch an eye? Like, are we going to not the League of Villains, the Panorama of the Bishop? Are we going to see like a meeting between the Panorama and the Bishop fund going through the attacks and endeavor and the uh, trigger the draw? Because I feel like they kind of should have mentioned it or Darby be. Leah group to break into our thoughts and bring everyone back. Like, we don't exactly know. So, yeah, anyways, tell me what you feel about the cap chapter in comments below. I hope you like this video. I hope you're gonna leave a like and subscribe to my channel not for more videos in the future. And with that said, I cannot wait to see all of you people next time. Bye.